Good evening, everyone, from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. I am rejoicing with the Lord, and I want to encourage you to do the same. We are truly in a battle, child of God. When we said yes to Yeshua and we received him as our Mashiach, our Lord and Savior, we gained an enemy, Satan and all of his cohorts. I've been talking about this this past week. And you know, when the IDF goes to war, when an army goes to war, they must know the strategy of their opposition. And so we need to understand what we're up against. We don't need to fear the enemy. We need to go out and attack the enemy rather than hide away. But in Yeshua, we are dressed and clothed in our army boots. We truly are a warrior bride. We cannot be ignorant of this fact. So I want to encourage you today to lift up your voice and your body to use your praise, your moving praise, which is also known as dance worship, is praise that moves. And you know, Jeremiah the prophet said, Adonai, I will worship you with every bone in my body. And I take that literally. And I see how the Holy Spirit is stirred up when I dance. God wants us to move in praise because when we add movement to our song or our sound from heaven, we become completely present. And when you put the song and the dance together, these are two very powerful weapons of worship, which means they're weapons of warfare. If they're powerful instruments of praise, they are at the same time powerful weapons of warfare, and we are in a battle. So the safest place to be is in the arms of the Lord, is to be worshiping God. And we all know Joshua fought the battle in Jericho and the walls came tumbling down, right? They circled in praise and blew the shofars. This is our greatest instrument of praise, our voices. And everything else is a plus, our instruments and all of that. But God has put instruments within us. They are part of who we are, our voice and our body. Powerful, holy instruments of praise, making them weapons of warfare. And the devil is shaken in his boots because of who we are and him. So stay in his presence. Give him holy honor, glory to his name. And when you're tempted to be anxious, praise him. Praise him. Praise him from Jerusalem. Shabbat shalom, friend.